So, you know, in uh, my previous video, I've gotten a lot of tearful comments about patients who test negative for the virus and people were like, if the person tests negative, they don't have it, you're putting people at risk, etc. And I'm like, obviously people weren't paying attention to the news. So for those who, of course, are unaware, the original doctor who made coronavirus uh, awareness in China is Dr. Li Wenliang, right? So Dr. Li Wenliang was also a person who was also a victim of coronavirus. This is for most of his life. This is he was successful, but an anonymous an anonymous ophthalmologist, father and husband based in central Chinese city of Wuhan. But over the past two months, the 34-year-old had become a household name in China known to hundreds of millions of people as the face and the conscience of its spiraling coronavirus crisis. So he was the one who basically was the whistleblower. He blew the lid on what was going on uh, in China about the virus. So for those who are unaware, uh, Dr. Liang, right? So it says after several, right? Actually, he says it here. Uh, let's go back. It says on January 10th, he started to feel sick, right? It says Lee himself was infected when he operated on a patient with glaucoma who did not know, um, who he did not know was carrying the virus. So on January 10th, he started to feel sick and his symptoms worsened over the rest of the month. He says after several negative tests on the 30th, he finally confirmed, he was finally confirmed as one of the thousands of coronavirus patients. He went 20 days, 20 days of testing negative for COVID. And this was after he started having symptoms. So he, he was obviously asymptomatic for some time, but he was symptomatic for 20 days. He was in the hospital. He was in the hospital on high flow and you can see he's on high flow and he is on uh, a face mask, right? Because he needed that love, that amount of oxygen and the patient still tested negative for the virus. And for all the tearful people in my chat talking about he tested negative, so he didn't have the virus. He shouldn't have been in isolation. He shouldn't have been with other patients. If they would have actually had taken, if the doctors were as stupid as many of the people in the comment section who were like, just because you test negative doesn't mean that you don't have the virus. And it was very obvious that he did because he was symptomatic. He was symptomatic for the virus. And if the doctors and the nurses and the respiratory therapists and the anesthesiologists would have been as foolish as many of the people in my chat, and in my comment section who talk about how nurses treated patients who had tested negative with the virus as being positive, he would have, for the past 20 days of which he tested negative for, would have infected untold number of medical workers and other patients that he would have come in contact with, as he would have more, more than likely not have been in an isolation room. He would have been paired with another patient who would, he would, who he would have infected. Every nurse, doctor, nursing aide, respiratory therapist, PA, whoever would have came to see him had they foolishly said, well, he tested negative, so it must be something else that's not infectious. Uh, had they not treated him like he was infectious during this respiratory outbreak, then many people, many people would have been infected. In fact, if China had treated many of their individuals who tested negative because he was not the only individual who tested negative that many of these individuals would have gone on to infect other individuals and it just goes to show how foolish people are willing to act when they literally have no understanding of what they're talking about i even get some people who claim to be nurses and that make some of the most idiotic statements obviously you must not understand or have taken care of patients 
um, who were COVID because there were many patients who tested negative for the virus, but had all of the symptoms and tested negative for every other form of bacterial and other respiratory illness but yet tested negative for COVID. And then later on during their hospital stay, ended up testing positive as, as testing became more widespread and as the test became more accurate. There are numerous tests that were faulty. And, and, and a, simple, a simple Google search, a simple Google, uh, simple Google search would have showed, right? Countries, uh, countries, Refuse, I should say, return uh, faulty COVID tests, right? So any simple, a simple uh, test, right? F from back in March, faulty Bloomberg, faulty virus, uh, is it cloud Chinese test outreach? Here we go. Faulty CDC coronavirus tests might delay detection of COVID-19, right? China, quality control problem in leading coronavirus. Why the U.S. coronavirus testing fails. China slams India's decisions to stop using faulty Chinese, Ch Chinese COVID test, right? China slams India's decisions to stop using faulty Chinese rapid test. There were numerous tests across the globe in both India and in Europe that were faulty and they were not working accurately. And as a result, patients were coming back with negative tests, but all exhibited the symptoms of COVID-19, many being short of breath, requiring large amounts of oxygen, running fevers with whited out chest x-rays, with no histories or very minimal histories, and we're testing negative for the flu and other bacterial bacterial pneumonias that would have been uh, the cause of their symptoms. They tested negative during a time when there was a pandemic going on. And it's so foolish to see so many people talking about this. It's like literally a simple Google search. A simple Google search would have enlightened a lot of you uh, individuals who want to cry in the comment section i do appreciate them i have enjoyed them i've had the opportunity to to share them with one of, with many of my fellow colleagues uh and i enjoy responding to them because many of them are just idiotic and even youtube uh flags many of them as uh likely as spam or idiotic but i have to go on the back scenes and uh okay them so that everybody else can enjoy the uh, tearful and conspiracy uh conspiracy driven comments that the government is behind it and i'm like it's a it's a it's a scam the u.s is paying the entire globe to pretend that they're being involved in some sort of uh some, some sort of a pandemic going on very silly i have enjoyed it i do appreciate it. i'm sure i'll be getting more of them in this comment section feel free to hit the thumbs up if you have common sense or if you don't hit the hit the, the thumbs down if you're a conspiracy theorist and i hope you have a good day thanks for watching